Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in his own timing because his timing is perfect. And also, where we share the good news of Jesus Christ, which offers you salvation and eternal life if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and repent and believe by faith that he rose again and conquered, took away your sin. That's how you can have eternal life. Well, welcome to this video, my brothers and sisters. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day um, and are finding joy in your circumstances. No matter um, how it's going, you can still find joy. There's always a reason to find joy. Um, just wanted to hop on here and uh, make another encouragement video today for you all. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a topic that we have talked about slightly, not a lot. Um, I think I've read this first to you guys. I don't know if I have, but I think I, I, think I have. Um, so let me read this first. We got one verse to read today. We're going to read Ephesians 1 verse 4. So if you have your Bibles, without further ado, flip to Ephesians 1. One chapter. Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1 verse 4. You ready? I follow along. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight in love. Amen. Father God, we ask that you would be with us in this time. That we, that we would all learn something from you, from your word today. And that we would apply it to our lives. And go out there and change your word and love on the world. This world needs it. Amen. Well, friends, today we're going to be talking about a simple question that you guys might be wondering. You guys might be wondering, well, Shane, how come we bring Christ into everything, into every topic, into every video? And my answer, my very short answer for you all, is because Christ is superior to everything. He's superior, friends. Think about the car that you drive. Or the house that you have. Yes, you own the house. You pay the bills. It's not your neighbor's house, it's your house. Yes, you pay the, your car bills. But who brought you into this world? It says, for he chose us in him before the creation of the world. God chose us. So everything that we have is in this life is because of God. God gave it to us. He can take it away from us. He can take us out of us, this world any time. I'm not going to talk about this today. But we'll talk about this at another time. But everything that we have is because of Christ. Everything. I'm sorry to break the news to you guys, but everything is not ours. It's not our entitlements. It's God's. God gave it for us to enjoy. And sometimes we don't enjoy that stuff. Sometimes we use it for sinful stuff. Or the money, we use it for sinful stuff. Or the houses, the causes, we don't take good care of them. So why do I talk about Christ? In every topic, in every video? Because Christ is everything. If you don't have Christ, I'm sorry, I guess you don't have life. I'm sorry to break some news to you guys. But Christ is everything. He has called us to be holy. He called us to be holy. So we should be holy. We should live by His word each and every day. Not by what we want, but by His own word. And be holy. And serve others. This, the list could go on and on what we could do, friends. But my challenge for you all is that we can Remember that Christ is superior to everything. So in light of that, we should change our viewpoint and we should remember to put Christ before everything. That we shouldn't try to leave Christ out. We should remember to include Christ in everything because Christ is everything. And without Christ, there is no life. I guess if you want to say there's life, 
There is, but you're just wasting and going to be dying away if you don't have Christ. Amen, friends? Well, let me give you the call to come to God if you have never come to God before because this topic might be pretty hard for you to hear, and I understand. But we're going to get you on the right track for this topic to become easier. And here's what you do. You say a simple prayer of faith like this. You ready? Say, Father God, Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Please come into my life, Lord. I'm done doing this life without you. I need you, Lord. I surrender everything I am to you. I believe that you rose again on the third died for me and rose again on the third day. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, if you just pray that prayer today for the first time, or repray that prayer in order to prodigal son, then I want to welcome you back into the family of God or into the family of God for the first time. Because scripture says when one walks into the family of God or one walks back in heaven rejoices and I rejoice with you. And I've been praying for this moment because this is, friends, truly the most important decision that you can ever make with your life is believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and accepting life in Him. It's the most important decision. The sword will tell you otherwise, but I will tell you the truth. This is the most important decision. Well, if you just made this decision today for the first time, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources on the next steps to take. We're not going to market you. We're not going to press you. We just want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this big decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you and, and let you know that we're happy and we're thinking about you on this decision because this is a big decision, as I just said. Um, well, friends, brothers and sisters, are you ready to receive the blessing that Jesus Christ himself promises? before I send you all any weight for whatever you're doing today? Okay, then put your hands up, my friends. Uh, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that Christ is superior to everything and with him there's life, but without him there's not life. Well friends, thank you for tuning into this video. If you were encouraged by this video, please click that share button and share with someone that needs to be encouraged as well because we gotta get the word out there all the more. Amen? Amen. Um, if you need prayer, just want to talk, or uh, I'm always here for you, please reach out. You can not do this life alone, but we can do it when we are strong together in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Have a good day, brothers and sisters. Keep Christ number one. Peace.